Hey Nikhil here again and welcome to my growth club. This is actually one of the first videos that we are going to do about marketing productivity series. In this series, we are going to understand and help marketers improve their productivity with some quick tips, tricks as well as some tools. As first part of this series, today we are going to look at how you can automate your Facebook campaign nomenclature. So in simple words, how you can automate your campaign naming for Facebook campaigns, ad sets or even ads. So let's dive right into it. Facebook has recently come up with this feature called Facebook name templates. Now with these templates, you can pre-build your nomenclature in Facebook interface and Facebook will automatically populate those values based on the campaign settings or ad set settings that you have done in your account. There are three types of fields which are available for this kind of templating. First is text field, which is free text field where you it will be just a placeholder in the template. You can put in whatever name you want there afterwards when you are creating the campaign. Custom field is where you can define some predefined drop down values which a campaign manager will have to select from this will make sure there are no typos or there are no human errors while creating the campaign nomenclature which is very important in case you are going to do automation of reporting the third one is of course campaign ad set or ad settings which are basically auto populated fields uh, which will be populated in your campaign by default from Facebook side depending on what you have set in your campaign ad set or your ads. So let's dive right into the interface and check out how this works in real time. So here we go. This is the ad manager, Facebook ad manager we have and uh, because I have created one template here, it's asking me whether I want to use the name template or not here at the top of the campaign creation box. If you have not created a template, it will ask you to create a name template here. Although this feature is not really rolled out to all the accounts uh, for now, it is being gradually rolled out to all the accounts. Even in my account, couple of my accounts have got it, couple of my clients accounts haven't got it. So if you have got it, great, go ahead, give it a try. If you haven't got it, you can always contact your Facebook rep and ask them to activate it for you. So here we go. Let's dive into how this feature works. Uh, as I already told you here at the top, I am getting this name template switch on and switch off toggle button because I have already created a template. If you have not, it will give you option to create the template. Now, if you have not created a template, if you click on the create template button, you will land up on this screen, which is the naming template creation screen. Now I'll just walk you through a couple of templates that I have created so far. I have tried to use all type of fields in this just to make sure that I can explain it to you how each field type works. So the first I have chosen is a custom field type, a custom field, which is the placeholder for uh, a text field which I can replace anytime later. Right now I have given it MCC but why M MGC which stands for my growth club but uh, going forward if I am creating a campaign while creating campaign I can replace it with MGC 1, 2, 3, 4 or ABCD whatever I want. Second field I have chosen is custom field type. Now I have imagined I am running a campaign for apparel e-commerce client and in that my client has three categories that he sells from first is shirts second is skirts and third is denims now when i create when a campaign manager creates the campaign campaign manager will get option to choose from these three categories the campaign manager will not be able to type these category names he will have to choose from the drop down which will make sure there are no typos there are no confusions about the nomenclature of the campaign and you will have standardized nomenclature across all the campaigns in your system. So this is the second type. The third field type we have is, ob is campaign settings, ad settings or ad set settings. Now in this I have chosen here 
objective so whatever objective that has been chosen by your campaign settings will be automatically replaced in your campaign name just to give you a uh, little more depth on this i'll just show you how this works for ad set in ad set i have chosen three parameters of setting types first one is gender second one is age and third one is specific mobile devices and operating systems depending on my targeting these values will be auto populated in my ad set name so let's see how this works when i create the campaign hope you understood how to create the name templates in facebook once you create the name templates all you have to do is while creating the campaign apply or do not apply these name templates you always have an option to create the names manually by turning off name templates while creating the campaigns now let's go back to campaign creation interface here we go i have turned on the name template option right so instead of mc mgc which was a free text i'll put mgc1 as campaign name starters in the category i'll choose denims and as objective i'll choose app installs now as i do that you can see in the preview my campaign name automatically changed to mgc1 underscore denims underscore is the separator that i have chosen which separates two fields from each other uh mgc1 denims and app installs just to give you a quick demo i'll change the objective from app installs to engagement and here we go the name automatically changed from mgc1 denims and post engagement instead of app install i'll just quickly switch back to traffic campaign just to show you how it works here we go mgc1 denims and traffic similarly for creating ad set it will work the same way so i'll just quickly show you that as well if i go to ad set i have to switch on the name template toggle switch to make sure that i'm using name template now let's say i'm driving traffic to website daily budget is blah and in the audience let's say i choose age from 13 to 48 now as soon as i do that we can scroll up and view what happens to the name in preview all 13 to 48 automatically changed similarly I can do some other changes to targeting as well and it will automatically change in the name as well i'll just show you quickly how it happens for gender so gender let's say i just want to target men for this campaign uh, we scroll up and see here we go men 13 to 48 all mobile devices this way you can automate all your campaign ad sets or ad names in a standardized template where you can easily automate the reporting and you will make sure that there are no typos there are no human errors when it comes to nomenclature of your campaigns and you can tightly control your nomenclatures as well as campaign and account structures hope you enjoyed our first marketing productivity session and we are going to bring you much more productivity tips like this in future thanks a lot